Hello everyone, welcome in Crochet Life and Stuff with Deborah. Vloggy time. Yes, it's his time for the vloggy thing for the week. I think it's number 69. I will have to check and look. The number will be on the title. Um, it has been a week, okay? It has been a super hot here, which means I don't dare go outside. Or if I do, I just roast. It's just awful. Um, we can't even go outside to really take a ride anywhere because the car's AC is messed up and has been for like two years now, but we don't go many places. So it's not a big deal unless it is a super hot and it's been super hot. So we just like, sorry, staying at home, not going anywhere until like after the sun goes down, we might go someplace. But besides that, <clears throat> the uh, Supreme Court news was like a kick in the gut. If you don't know what I'm talking about, Turn on the news, okay? In the U.S. If you live elsewhere, you might not know, but you probably already heard. Because we've just stepped back, you know, to the 1950s. Yeah. Handmaid's Tale's coming alive here, folks. Seriously. Anyway. Uh, beyond that, there's a lot of giveaway stuff going on all week long. Um, work has been busy AF. Whoa. Yes. And when I think I'm finally catching up at work, it's like, oh, sorry, here's some more stuff. It's just, it's very busy and it's it's taxing. It's, it's mentally taxing. Normally, <clears throat> I was able to watch people's videos while I worked and get a lot of stuff done and be able to watch people's videos at speed and a half because that's what I do. <clears throat> Past couple of weeks, no, that has not happened. Um, I have probably only watched a dozen videos at work in the past couple of weeks. Yeah, sorry guys. I have not been keeping up with your videos. I have not been making my usual comments and likes and everything. And I feel kind of bad because of that. Ugh. Also, I'm missing out on some fun stuff online, I know. Um, I've missed out on some of Joe's lives that he does on Sundays and on Mondays. And I've just, I just haven't had the time. Um, also, Speaking of things like, you know, Joe's with gardening and stuff. He's the Garden State Gardener, by the way, in case you didn't know. My tomatoes have attracted big green caterpillar things that I am told are um, tomato or tobacco uh, horn worms, which aren't really worms at all. They are, they are caterpillars for moths. And, yeah couple of my plants which I don't have many all the foliage just gone on like the top half of the plant and I'm like are you kidding me I'll put pictures at the end and when you see the pictures you will see white stuff all over it now learn from somebody that you can put stuff called and I'm sure I'm going to pronounce it wrong diamaceous earth um and the stuff that I got is food grade so it's not going to hurt us not going to hurt the plants evidently but you put it on it and it hurts those wormy things. So they go and leave and stuff. I just want a fresh tomato sandwich, y'all. That's it. Fresh tomato sandwich. I hope I can still manage to get one. Because they were everywhere. I was like, are you kidding me? I was about to, We were about to get in the car and actually go to the grocery store. And I was like, Jamie, come here. Get this off of there. Because, you know, it's a bug. I didn't want to touch it. <laughs> so he's like, I don't want to touch it either. Because I'm like flicking it off. Um, but I did find out that they're harmless. You can pick them up, like put them in a bucket of water or whatever. <sighs> Y'all, just leave my plants alone. Is that dramatic enough? I feel like I'm being dramatic today. I'm feeling kind of dramatic. Other stuff that I have not yet gotten to... Happy Mail is not opened yet. It will be. There will be a video soon. Also, Happy Mail slash um, opening, unboxing of a mystery box still has not happened yet. That's right. This mystery box has been here more than a week and it's still just sitting here because my life has been too crazy. I'm not even kidding. It's just been... <sighs> um had the cat mad at me for an entire day. Now, that may not sound like, well, what is that? You know, you don't understand. My kitty Oscar, which if I can find him and take a picture of him, I will take a picture or a video of him before I post this. Um, 
he is very lovey and needy and always wants to be with you. He has to be with his people. Right now he's probably with the hubby because the hubby's napping. So he's probably in there napping because that's a good nap spot, you know. Um, but he got outside for about 45 minutes one night when the hubby was working on something with the door lock. And he came back in. I mean, he was just like, I'm out here and it's cool. There are things out there that can eat him, okay? We live in the woods. But he came back in and of course he had fleas that quickly. He may have had a flea or two before, but it was never an issue because I comb him and I look for the flea dirt and stuff. But yeah, fleas. So we had to get the medicine to put on his neck. He hates it. I understand he hates it. It, it makes him, I'm sure it makes him sick. It makes him feel bad. But I put it on him and he would literally not even let me pet him for over a day. And even then he was like a little wary. He's like, I'm still holding a grudge. Yeah. But he he's forgiven me now, apparently. But yeah, that's it's kind of sad. You know, it's like, that's a big part of my day is interacting with the boys. Speaking of which, I don't know if I can, you can see it on there on my watch. I've got a picture of him on my watch. So, got, got my boy right there. Anyway, I, so far this week, I have not yet started on my hashtag... Uh, Rock 2022 AU square for this time. I gotta hurry though because the 30th is coming up quickly. You'll see my bag that I keep that project in is just a bag and it has the black that I border it in and my hook and everything in there. And that's it. I have not even picked out the yarn for it yet. So I'm behind on that. I am behind on the hashtag Yarnivores monthly theme. Um, which this month is boho hip slash hippie flower child, that kind of thing. And I have not started on it yet. Got an idea. The idea just had to brew because ain't nobody got time for that apparently. Uh, but I have received some entries and that's awesome. Uh, I will try to link that video that I started the month off with up here or down there someplace so that you can see what you need to do if you'd like to enter. Anyway, I will get something done for it. I will. Just not right this minute. Uh, there is crochet, though. There is crochet. And also, my friend Lisa at Ladybird Loves is having an auction today. I'm filming this today. It'll get released today, but you may not see it today, you know. But the auction will be 1 o'clock Eastern Time uh, for Mystery Box. And we'll have all the details on the auction. And it'll be fun. Even if you just come hang out, it's still fun. So come check that out, 1 o'clock Eastern at Lisa Ladybird Loves channel. There's crochet though. There's a little bit of crochet. I have not done much, I can tell you that. I have been working on my temperature blanket. Ta-da! Look, she's getting big. Okay, all those darker colors. Let me show you where we are right now with the most current one. Oh. And by the way, I'll show you how I keep up with all of my stuff, too. I have, a, like, a basket that kind of sits there with all the yarn for this project underneath a table in the living room. That's one way I do it. Uh, this was the start of this row of 19. Look at all those dark colors. Uh, the outside color is the high temperature. The inside color is the low temperature. Our highs have been, this this dark purple is anything above 91 degrees or above 92. I forget, I have to look in the book. But look how much of that dark purple for the highs. Yeah. Once I get these 19 across, they get attached to the big blanket. So that is that part. Uh, as far as keeping up with it, I've got my little bag here. I have got a book. Oh, I've got, I keep my hook in here too. I'm using a Clover Amore 5mm, which is an H hook. I have found that these are pretty much my favorite hooks, or at least this style. I have the El Cheapo Super Waminide Cheap ones that I got from Wish, and they work just the same. However, uh, the cushy part, the outside bit, starts to slide off after a while. Found that out the hard way. All of a sudden, the shaft of my hook is like this long, and I'm like, What's happening? And then I figured it out. 
that I've got this book and it says on the front things I can't say during a video call it's just a cute notebook that I picked up and um, in here I have for every month it has a page I am using my Lisa Ladybird Loves membership exclusive pen that stays in here all the time with it I write down the days in a different color because that's that's how I do and each day I put the low here Let's see, the low here, the high here, what color numbers they are, which I have a guide in the back. And then I also put the Celsius. I put them in Fahrenheit because that's how we live here in the U.S. But I'm putting it in Celsius so I can more remember those temperatures. Uh, by the way, let's see, on the 23rd, the high was 95. On the 22nd, the high was 97. That 97 degree temperature was 36 degrees Celsius. So it was hot. The guide that I keep, I did this. I found some colors that I like. These are all, um, okay, all but one are Hobie Amigo yarns in a three-way. They're DK. Um, the only one that isn't is this one, my yarn number two. That was some baby yarn that I had, some light blue. So I decided to use that in there too. And each one has a temperature range. And I numbered them one through nine just so that I could write in the book, you know, write down the temperatures like, okay, this is a five and a seven or whatever. That's how I keep up with it. And this is my accomplishment every day. It's like, oh, I did my square. I did my square. And I do weave in the ends on my square. I think that's very important. Because I would not want to weave in like eight million ends at the end. And I don't like crocheting over ends. I know that sounds weird. People do that because it's, it's easier. I find it difficult for me. So I don't like to crochet over them. Uh, but I do weave them in each and every one, every time. The only one I have it is at the very beginning of the blanket. Uh, there's a couple of stragglers. But those will stay stragglers for now. And the rest I will just do at the end. But I'm digging all the blues. Don't worry my wonky numbers on there. The numbers... Okay, this is upside down. But the numbers are, um, they indicate mostly the month. This is 22 for the year, 1 for January. And there's a 2 coming up around there somewhere. There's my 2. Yes, I know it's wonky. I do the best that I can with my numbers. There's a 5 down there, you see. There's a 3. Um, but yeah. And I will have a nice little very blue, colorful throw with all of my joins showing. Speaking of joins showing, hang on. Something else that I actually have worked on a little bit is in this bag that I got last year from Ella at um, No Catchy Name Crochet and Bags. She does bags. Has a little matching doohickey, a little matching notions pouch. And I keep the hook in the notions pouch because I don't like to change hooks mid-project. This is a Clover Amour 4mm. This is what got me into Clover Amours. Uh, I won this kit that came with the hook and came with the yarn and came with the handles for the bags and everything. And I was like, wow, okay. I like this. I like the way it feels with my hand. So I've been picking up more of them. Very, very nice. Now, let's see. Oh gosh, it's going to be hard to pull out because... see what I'm doing here this is there we go do I not have it attached oh apparently I know very good this is using um lion brand 24 7 cotton I love this stuff it is so easy to work with it's like a chain spun cotton yarn okay this is how the bag is coming out I have it all well not exactly pinned but clipped this is the part that is not really attached yet because it's clipped on. This is the part that is. I'm doing my joins in that gold color because the yarn that they sent, they sent plenty to do this, the bag. And then they sent uh, yarn for the tassel, which is the gold color and like a pink color. Well, there goes the gold on the floor. Um, but they also sent the tassel already made up and handles so I'm gonna use this gold color and I might do some trim work maybe a little border on the top or something in the pink to tie it together or something um, but yeah 
this is how it all joins. And I'm, I, I decided to do, do my joins my way. I wanted to see the seams. I wanted it to have a little contrast to it. That's why I did where you can see the stitching. But these little clips, by the way, Dollar Tree. You get a pack of them. I love these things. Or dollar and a quarter tree or whatever. You get them in the craft section. They are so handy to have when you're trying to put stuff together. Especially when you're sitting in the chair trying to put stuff together and the cat's trying to help. Because of course. But yes, soon I will have a bag. I hope soon. I think I can get this done over the next million years. Oh, by the way, the pink that they gave with it is this one. Very nice. It goes with, I will show you a picture of what they show the bag looking like. So they show it where you can kind of see the seams, but they don't have any of the contrasting color. I like having the contrasting color on there. Because the only place that they have used those other colors is in the tassel. The tassel, I need to get it out and show you, but I'm not going to do it right now because it is in a box over there. And I don't want to go to the box over there. I want to put this back in the bag and talk about some giveaways. I do have some giveaway draws today. They will be on a separate video. That is the replay draw, the draws from this uh, video last week, the vloggy thing. Oh yes, I know you were late thinking about that. Bunch of giveaways to do there. My next mail out shipment will be Monday or Tuesday, depending on when it gets out. Um, but don't fret. If you have emailed me, I appreciate it. I will get back to you and get everything packed up and get it out to you because I want everybody to have their prize. I just, I don't have a system set up where I could just mail every day. So, you know, that's the thing. I could have swore I just saw the, the munch. He must be in the other room hiding or something. Who knows? Anyway, I will show you some pictures of my plants or what's left of them. Oh, so sad. Um, I also, in the midst of all of this, I did some online shopping and I have ordered a new bed frame, a mattress, and a set of sheets to go on it because I don't have any sheets in a full size. I'm going from a king size to a full size because I want more room in this room. Um, well, there he is. Hang on. Come here, you. Oh. Hi. What you doing? I want more room in this room. So the mattress, all like 60 or 70 pounds of it in a, a cardboard box rolled up is sitting in the living room, propped up against a wall because I had to schlep it in the house. The box is flipping destroyed. That's how it came from UPS. Like, dudes, what are y'all doing in that warehouse? I just thought I want to know. Because that wasn't the only thing that came destroyed that day. But the same day, I order food from uh, Every Plate. And I get, it's like a meal kit thing. The box was just toast. Um, it had been retaped. One of the cold pack things they have in it was busted. So they had that... that slimy stuff all over everything. Oh my gosh, I had to wash everything. Luckily, everything was still cold because they, they do pack it really well from every plate. But UPS must have been playing catch with it or something or running it over with the truck. I don't know. But yeah, both things came that day just torn up. Hi. What are you doing? What do you see? That's just shadows from the fan, silly boy. Yeah, that's all it is. Why don't you look at your friends over here? Show them that pretty face. <laughs> That's my Oscar. Glad you could see him today. Glad he decided to stop by. Yeah. Oh, by the way, the bed frame still has not arrived. I thought it was supposed to arrive yesterday. No. Not here yet. So I can't set up the bachelor. So I, and i got to figure out how to get rid of this bed. How does one get rid of a king size mattress and a set of box springs for a king size bed? No, none of it is worth anything to anybody. I can tell you that straight away. Um, I don't have a truck. I may have to borrow somebody's truck to get it to the dump because they don't have things like, like pickup around here for that kind of stuff. So, yay. 
<laughs> created a problem for myself. Didn't I? Yeah. He doesn't care. He really doesn't. Boop. <laughs> Thank y'all for coming by. We'll see you very, very soon. Be looking out uh, for all of those winner's draw videos so you can see who won, see if you won. Mm -hmm. And um, hopefully we'll see you very, very soon. Bye, y'all.